respected sir. This presentation is by 17C049. My group members are 17C051, 17C056, 17C065. Our project definition is news headlines classification. So for news headlines classifications, first we have to pre-process the data. We have downloaded the data set from UCI machine learning repository. In this UCI data set, the unnecessary columns have been removed and a CSV file has been uploaded to this project with two columns, title and category and category. The types of category are business, science and technology, entertainment and health. What is pre-processing? Text is pre-processed effectively where the unstructured text data is initially obtained, which is mostly combination of garbage and useful data. The text data is made free from all noisy and useless information, which includes punctuation marks, semicolons, irrelevant ticks, quotes, exclamation marks, dates, etc. In pre-processing steps, first we have tokenize the headlines and store it in a PKF, PKL file, PKL file, tokenized titles. Then we have removed the stop words and diacritics, punctuation removal and stored it in a pickle file named filtered titles. Then we have used portal stemming for stemming process. Then we merged the stemmed title headlines and stored them in stemmed title headlines pickle file. And encoded our data and stored it in data frame pickle file. Now this pickle file will be given as an input to new base classification and SVM classification. In new base classification, we open the data frame pickle file Split the data set into training set and testing set. Testing set is 25% and training set is 75%. We have used two approaches for, of feature selection. TFIDF approach and bag of words approach. Why we use feature selection methods? Feature selection methods are used for accuracy improvement, overfitting risk reduction, speed up in training, and improved visualization. In TFIDF approach, after applying the TFIDF feature selection, we have trained multinomial name based classifier. We then calculated accuracy score and confusion metrics. We got 92.08% accuracy in TFIDF approach. And the main thing is confusion metrics. In confusion metrics, 0 represents business, 1 represents entertainment, 2 represents health, and 3 represents science and technology. Here, diagonal values represent the correct predictions. Then, we tuned the hyperparameters and for alpha value 1.0 we got accuracy 92% and in bag of words approach when we calculated accuracy and confusion metrics we got 92.23% accuracy which is better then TFIDF approach
after that we again tune the hyperparameters and for the value of alpha 1.0 we have got an accuracy of 92% then we loaded our pickle file so that the user can enter any current news let's see if user enters something current if the user enters some current news he is getting the correct output of news character category entertainment same in SPM classification, we have opened the data frame pickle file, then split data, data into training set and testing set, then did feature selection using TFIDF and bag of words approach. But here we can see that accuracy for TFIDF is 94.59% which is better than the results given in new base classification for bag of words approach the accuracy is 94.44% so here we can say the TFIDF approach is better than bag of words approach in SPM classification here also in confusion metrics, 0 represents business, 1 represents entertainment, 2 represents health, 3 represents science and technology. The triangles give the value of correct, correct predictions. Now again we have loaded the count factorizer and our classifier. And let's see if user enter some current news So, science and technology. So, in conclusion, we can say that for news headlines classification, SPM classification is better than new base classification. Thank you.